Hey guys, if you're having trouble tracking down property owners of vacant properties, today I'm going to share with you two resources, one of them being a free resource and the other one being a paid resource that you can use in order to skip trace property owners to find out where they are so that you can contact them and make them an offer on their property. All that and more coming right up. Hey, it's Jamel Gibbs with the REI Education Academy, helping you close deals consistently in your real estate investing business. And on this channel, what we do are real estate investing how-to videos and tutorials, as well as videos of me actually investing in real estate. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And at any point in this video, if I mention any resources, all of those resources will be linked in the description box below in case you wanna get started with them right away. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. All right, guys, so today what we're gonna do is talk about skip tracing property owners. If you don't know what skip tracing is, I'm gonna keep it really simple for you. It's basically going out and finding the whereabouts of where a property owner is located. So all you're doing is investigating or you're hiring a company to investigate where a property owner could be located. Now, there's two services that I like to use in order to skip trace property owners. One of them is a free resource, and I'm gonna demonstrate that for you on my laptop here. And then the other one is a paid resource. Now, when it comes to paid resources, I want you to keep in mind that the cheaper the service is, the less quality of a lead that you're going to get. Let me repeat that. The cheaper the service is, the less quality of a lead that you're gonna get. So typically, I like to pay a little bit more for a higher quality lead so I can make sure I'm not wasting my time and spending extra money to go out and find motivated sellers. Now, the paid resource that I like to use is called Skip Genie, and I'll link Skip Genie in the description box below so that you can check out their service. They have two different plans. Uh, one of them uh, is a cheaper service, but you'll spend more on the Skip Trace, and the other one is a little bit more expensive, but you'll spend far less on the Skip Trace services that they provide. The other resource that we're gonna look at today is what I'm actually gonna reveal to you right now. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer and I'll show you exactly how to find property owners today. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right guys, so as I've mentioned, I'm gonna share with you how to start finding vacant property owners if you can't find the address or if you don't have the funds to spend on, let's say, a service like Skip Genie or something like that. You can utilize this service for free that I'm gonna share with you today in order to start finding the addresses of property owners. Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind is that this is a third party website. If they decide to change their site and it's after the recording of this particular video, I have absolutely no control over that. Also, if in your area they charge for services like this, I have absolutely no control over that. But in most cases, this service will be absolutely free. But I have seen in certain circumstances where maybe your local area may charge for certain types of information. So if that's the case, then you have to make the adjustments accordingly. So what we're gonna do is go to a site called netronline.com. And once we get to that site, Again, you know, understand that as of the date of recording this particular video, this is what the website looks like. But I've been using this site for over 10 years up to this point, and this site continually is the same. So no matter what the date is as of the recording of this particular video, just understand that this will always be valid. Basically, all you're using is your local tax assessor's website, and NetR Online provides you with an easy way to get to your tax assessor's website in your local area. So what you wanna do is go to netronline.com and up at the top under the navigation bar, you're gonna see a link that says public records online. And all you're gonna do is go ahead and click on that. And once you click on that link, you're gonna go ahead and scroll down slightly so that you can select the state that you live in. Now you can obviously select it on a map or you can select it below the map. I'm gonna go ahead and just select the map and let's just say I decided that I wanted to search a property in Georgia. And once I click on Georgia, I'm going to go ahead and select the county that I want to find property owners in. So I'm going to go ahead and select, let's just stick to the Atlanta area. I'm going to select Fulton County. And then once I click on Fulton County, what I'm looking for on this particular page here is 
the assessor's website. All right. Now, this may differ in your local area. Again, for the vast majority of uh, websites that I've searched for on net are online. It's typically the assessor's website. So you're looking for the tax assessor. So I'm going to go ahead and select go to data online. And then once the page pops up, you'll notice that I can do an owner search, a parcel search, an address search. I can basically search all property records on this particular page. So let's just say I had the address of a property. Let's just say, for example, I go out and drive for dollars or one of my team members sends me an address after driving for dollars. I can then go to the address search and then I can go ahead and agree to their disclaimer on the site that once I agree to the disclaimer, guess what I can do? I can type in the address uh, number and the street where it's located. Now in your area, this may be slightly different, but you'll see that it will obviously provide you with the owner's whereabouts on where they're located right now. So let's just go back out to netronline.com and I'm just going to go up to the top. I'm going to click on the logo so it can take me back to the main page. And again, just like with the last records, what we're going to do is go ahead and select public records online. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select, let's just say North Carolina. And with the North Carolina address, I'm going to go ahead and select, let's just pick one. Let's go with Guilford County. And just like with the Atlanta market, notice how you have the Guilford assessor. Okay. So again, we're looking for that tax assessor website. All right. So I'm going to go to data online. And then once I go to data online, what I'll do is I'm going to go to location address versus the owner's name. And I'm just going to type in an address of a property that I recently wholesaled. Let's just go with 2009. You know, I'm going to ask you guys not to contact any owners on this particular address uh, for privacy purposes. Right. And I'm going to go ahead and click on search. And as you can see, the property owner's name the property address and all of the details popped up. So what we're going to do is go under where it says parcel. I'm going to click on that link that's underneath there. And you can see that the owner's mailing address right here is different than the property location address. All right. So that's exactly what you're looking for. This guy, you can see we recently wholesaled this on uh, the 23rd of December. And if you recall, my daughter and I placed a video up on YouTube of her collecting a check in the amount of $12,900 plus. And this was on this particular property. So you can see that this buyer right here purchased this property uh, from a wholesale deal from me around the 23rd of December. And again, if you want to check out that video and the dispositions aspect of this whole business, Check on the link that should be popping up, up at the top, and uh, you'll be able to watch that video. But for the most part, that's exactly how you find the owners of properties. And as long as the mailing address is different than the actual property address, then you can go ahead and contact the owner by writing them a letter or sending them some type of postcard or direct mail. All right, so there you guys have it, netronline.com. Be sure to utilize this website to find out where the whereabouts of property owners are if you're having trouble finding them in the first place, and then go ahead and contact them through direct mail or some other form of marketing. Let them know that you're interested in making them an offer on their property. Hope you guys benefited from this video, and be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click the notification bell below for future videos just like this one. This is Jamel Gibbs and I'm signing off.